Ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new show and game in the building, Big Dog Millionaire. Nick's not very good at trivia, but luckily today, it's not Nick's life on the line, it's your guys's. Not life, let me rephrase that. This is who wants to be a millionaire, and during this game, Nick has 14 questions he has to answer along the way. If he answers the final question, he won't be a millionaire but someone in the audience might be because there is a prize for one of you guys in the comments if Nick can make it all the way. We will be giving out free, brand new, one-time, limited, photo one-time merchandise to one of you guys that is going to be a part of the BDGE new merch launch this spring. Nick, fate of the audience is in your hands. How do you feel? I wish I wore a suit, too. I got some on deck. I know a guy. I should have worn yellow. Custom yellows. tailored. The yellow suit. Doesn't come cheap. Croc skin. Let me warn you. Mm. So, along the way again, 14 questions, but you're not completely alone. I did lie a little bit. You can cash him some help here and there. During your play, through your 14 questions, one time at the bottom, you can bring in one brother to help you out. Just give it, get, a, get a talk in with your homies. What's the answer? Another time, you can narrow down the four multiple choice questions down to just two. And then another time, you could take a poll of everyone in the office. A little light-handed today, but you can still get a read of the room. I'm ready. We are ready to begin. Question number one for $500. We got, who is not a free agent this <laughs> offseason? A, Ryan Tannehill. B, Marquise Brown. C, Odell Beckham. D, Marlon Humphrey. The answer is Punchline Podcast host, D, Marlon Humphrey, final answer. Don't even need no help. Never did, never will. That is (laughs) correct. Good start, but let's stay humble. We're 1 through 14 now. So now you're giving out $500 to an audience member. With the business card. One down, 13 to go. On to one thousand. I'll take the million dollars. <laughs> oh, I wanted to call this shot right now. There's a question in here that I know that you think you know, and I know you actually don't know it. Love I don't that. know where it is. Okay. I don't know when it comes up, but that's like my foreshadow hint. You think you know this? You don't. Dub. Better not be Emmett Smith. For a thousand dollars, who has thrown the most passing yards in a single season? A, Peyton Manning, B, Tom Brady, C, Drew Brees, D, Matthew Stafford. I'm a single season. Single season record holder. Question, just for game's sake. If I... Regular season. If I give you, yeah, if I give you, like, if I say 50-50, how do you decide which two to eliminate? Just pick. I pick? No, I'll pick. I don't pick? No. Feels like a known fact. Yeah, it's $1,000. Think, uh... Settlements know? Yeah, that is game yeah. works. Cash in a 50-50, poll, plus one, all in one. Uh, I feel... Talk it out. I feel confident that it... I mean, it's definitely not Stafford. I don't think it's... I almost don't want to go on record in case I'm just so fucking wrong. I don't think it's Brady either. I feel like Breeze... Tony is in the office still. Tony feels like he would know this question. Is it Peyton? I feel like it might just straight up be Peyton. I get risky here? Just get it right. That's all you need to do. Get right. There's a lot of me telling me that it's A. I shouldn't have said anything because now if I want to go 50, you're just going to eliminate. You're <laughs> going to eliminate the ones that I'm thinking about. <laughs> That's why I asked the question up front and then still fucking started yapping about it. I'm, I'm Got lifelines. I'm going to go A. Locked in. I need a final answer. Oh, is it Brady? You're going to have to run this back with Tony. First episode of the show. What do we got? A. Locked in. Final answer. Bang! Let's go! Good stuff. Settlements, we knew that. Joe, that. we knew that. Thank you. Really? This is a tough fucking question, j Yeah. That, that 2013 year Did is just... But I just remember there was so much celebration around Breeze at that time that I couldn't Fair. remember exactly yeah, what it was for. Right. right. I thought he like broke record or something. All the time. Okay. Settlements would have... At least half of them. All right. On to 2000. Unreal. Quick little double up. Stressful early, but that's okay. What is Julio Jones' real name? Julio Jones? D, final answer. Bang. No time wasted. Unreal. Little Quintoris Jones. 
I need a heart rate monitor. <laughs> $3,000. Who is a free agent this offseason? A, Jameis Winston. B, Ezekiel Elliott. C, Jimmy Garoppolo. Not Jimmy Graham. D, Alvin Kamara. Who's got a job right now? And who don't? This one, this one's tough. Chirping in the office says they know this. Jack Settlement, reach out to him. I, I want to get my 50-50 number. out of the way just so I could talk through things. I just don't trust you. In that suit, you're untrustworthy. High degree. So you you cashing that in? I got to think about it a little, a little more. I think, I, I, think I'm, I might get risky here again. I feel confident that it's not Jimmy G. They signed Zeke late in the offseason. I just don't think they gave him a multi-year deal. Ooh, am I going to do a quick pivot? Did they give Zeke two years? Is he like a two for seven, two for nine? How are you going to give fucking Zeke in August a two-year deal, though? That math doesn't add up. I think it might be Jameis. Fuck. There's another one. I shouldn't have said anything. 50-50. For sure. Uh, I want to bank the, like, a specific person for later on because I feel like that's a better mm-hmm. – uh, I got to do this myself, I think, right now. We're too early on. There's no room for error. I don't think it's bad to use a superpower four deep. 14 questions. This is your fourth question. That's about on pace, about a little behind, but. Jameis Winston. Locked in. I need a final. Zeke. <laughs> I need a final answer. Okay. Final. Zeke. No going back for the game. If you get this wrong, we are just ending the episode and bringing Tony in. Fuck off. <laughs> that <laughs> fucking <laughs> introduction. Give me 50-50. <laughs> You're sure? After all that, not doing it by yourself. Zeke, B, final answer. No 50-50, done. This is fucking torture. (laughs) You have to get a locked in final answer. How many times I got to say, you know, (laughs) on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, when they say final answer, (laughs) it locks the answer in. Okay, the next name to come out of your mouth is what you're done with. James Winston. Final answer. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what to do. I'll take my 50-50. We will eliminate A and C. So it is down to Ezekiel Elliott and Alvin Kamara. Just, it's not Kamara. I feel like I've seen so many free agent lists of the running backs, and it's Derrick Henry, it's Saquon, Eckler. I need an answer. I'm sweating. This B, Zeke, final answer. Correct. You're a cunt. Woo! That was a lot of heat. Why couldn't you just said that when I said the final answer last time? You lock it in, just give me the answer. <laughs> it wasn't as fun. Good job. No. Wasted your 50 50. Wasted. One of your f- helpers, gone. I'm not built for this game. No. I'm not built for any of these. Okay. On to $5,000. Which quarterback has not rushed for 1,000 yards in a single season? This feels like the question that I think that I know. And maybe I th- – did Vic not run for 1,000 in a year? He did. This is it, isn't it? Randall Cunningham. There's no way Randall Cunningham. Yeah, but this wouldn't be the 5,000 follow-up question after that. Lamar has Fields. Ooh, no, nah, Fields did. Or did he just get really hot over the second half of the year? No, nah, he did it. Bro was cooked. I think, there's a, I think there's a path to you putting Randall Cunningham, knowing that I would be like, that's too easy of the answer, and that's what made this question difficult. I know you, J-Mo. I just don't know ball. Okay. A lot of poker players don't care about the cards they have. They're just reading the That's other players. Bar. Did Vic fall just short? Did Fields fall just short? Who fell just short? What the fuck is Randall Cunningham doing? There's just no way he hit a K. How much time do you think they get on the game show? What are you complaining about? You're not no, even... No, no, no. <laughs> not this much was not the, the question. You weren't answering the question I asked. I, I think it's quick. I just feel like someone... I think the answer is Randall Cunningham. Final answer. Final answer. Randall Cunningham. Correct. Okay. Did I read you on that one? Bro's overthinking, yeah. Okay. Clean. On to 7,000. Who is the youngest? Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Baker Mayfield. Settlements are here. I purposely made this question hoping they were here because they might know. There's one guy they know. They're no. in the same draft class of Burrows after them, but Burrow kind of came in a little old, too, I think. That's a good question. If they're just all confusing questions. They're not good. They're all terrible. Go ahead. Who to go? How old is Josh fucking Allen? You could reach out to him. Take a group poll. Baker, sneaky young. I think Lamar's <laughs> 26. 
point seven. Oh, that doesn't matter in this game. Joe Burrow. How many years after? He, I feel like he got drafted like two years after these guys. Now he was twenty twenty. Is this like a million dollar question? <laughs> I need you to lock in. I actually don't really know how – I have no idea how old Josh Allen is. I feel kind of good that, like, that Joe Burrow was, like, later, but no, he came in kind of old. <laughs> I feel like Baker's, like, sneaky young. He's probably, like, fucking 24 somehow still. No, he's 27. Was just cooked. No, no, no. Baker's older. Baker's 27. Lamar's 26. Josh Allen, I got no fucking idea. Uh, I will go, after all that babbling, Lamar Jackson. Final See? answer. Correct. Damn, Lamar Jackson. Damn, I'm good. I think all the numbers you spew out were wrong. Burrow's older than Lamar by a few days. Keep track of birthdays. Mm. Come on. $7,000 down. Damn, I'm good. Okay. On $10,000. Five figures. Which of these Patriots does not have a Super Bowl MVP? A, Adam Vinatieri. B, Dion Branch. C, Tom Brady. D, Julian Edelman. You basically already got it down to a 33-33-33. You're welcome. Adam Vinatieri is all, it, like, just living in my head right now. <laughs> There's just no way he should have won a Super Bowl MVP, but I feel like he probably did. I'm 15 fine. seconds. Are we doing that? No. I can if you want. Next episode, you're going to have to, like, cash in a time bank. That'll be a fourth helper. 20 minutes to think. 33% shot. It's not even 33. Like, I know, I know two of them who have it. All right, then. 50-50. Flip a coin. Yeah. Flip them out. No, you. A Siri. Why, why would he have won a Super Bowl MVP? This is your seventh question. We'll be halfway if you get this right. Ten. Shit. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. A. Adam Vinatieri. Adam Vinatieri had a game-winning field goal against the greatest show on turf. But A is correct. We were halfway through the game show. <laughs> I'm not going to make it. For $20,000, which quarterback was drafted in the first round? A, Deshaun Kaiser. B, Colin Kaepernick. C, Ryan Tannehill. D, Nick Foles. D, like this to me <laughs> feels like it should have been a $500,000 question. What? Because you all, you go by your questions. Like, you go Super Bowl MVP stuff. Every every <laughs> trivia you do is all Super Bowl MVP stuff. And you put those as the easy ones. Draft class, I thought, was for you. Ryan Tannehill? Or draft year? Or draft pick? Wait, Sorry. Sean Kaiser? No, I don't think he was a first. Uh, it's C, Ryan Tannehill. Final answer. Lock that in. Don't ask me again. Next question. Bang! We're over halfway. $30,000. Good pace. All right? I know you're struggling, but we have two lifelines left. Thirty grand. Who is projected the most points in the NBA tonight, according to Underdog Fantasy? A. De'Aaron Fox at Minnesota Timberwolves. B. Donovan Mitchell at the Detroit Pistons. C. Jason Tatum at home versus the Mavericks. D. Luka Doncic in the Garden. Underdog boys, how we feeling? Um. So. Ball knowledge up. Yeah, this th I'm not going to be it for this question. Like, I feel like it should be Luka, but then playing at Boston feels like maybe he's smidged down. That's Spida, who's a great scorer, but I feel like he hasn't been great super recently, but he's playing against the Pistons, who I know are not good. But then maybe they, like, factor in low out opportunity. Tatum versus Dallas, Minnesota. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to come to a good conclusion here. Settlements. I'll, I, will, I will go towards uh, Jack. On. You, you lock in, in your one person, or you take a poll from the group in the office? I'm going to lock in one person, and it's going to be Jack Settlestein. Jack Settlement, please, please onto to the stage. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick you up, so you got to get real close to him. Get in. Luca. Fuck. I knew it was going to be that easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it just the answer is probably always Luca on this. I'll go, yeah, I'll lock Luca. Final answer? Yes. Correct. You're good, man. Wasn't You're, really close. What's my share? Thirty grand. When I win, Luca's at. You could take all the money I win on this show. Luca's thirty-two and a half. I think the next closest was like twenty-six and a half. Okay. So, speaking of underdog fantasy, first time depositors are underdog. Code BDGE. Not only will you get tonight as you are watching this a free Luca Doncic square of 0.5 points. When you use our code BDG, you will also get up to a free one hundred dollars to play with with that one hundred percent deposit match. It's on the house. I know a guy. His name's Underdog Fantasy. 
don't miss out. They give you a real life lifeline. Let's run it. But they don't give you fifty thousand dollars, and that is what's up next for fifty G's. I'm so fucking dialed, Casey. You're in so best ball drafts. Uh, which running back right now is sitting outside of RB twenty five? Outside of twenty five. Okay, this is hard. Okay, no, I I can make I feel like some logical fucking conclusions here. I think this might one this might be for the game. Got a good episode in so far. Bad. I haven't done a single best ball draft yet. Yep. Fan, <laughs> fans have enjoyed some entertainment, but I think the show's gonna end early here. Okay, Javante feels like a lock inside the top 25. Dixon feels pretty locky, too. Want to share with the class while you're chuckling? <laughs> Eckler and Pollard. Steen. Which one of these is not a free agent? It's not a free agent. I'm kidding. I'm just fucking uh, with you. <laughs> you got me fucked up there. Uh, Unless. Thoughts, Jack? Okay, so it, it feels like the answer is probably Eckler. He's a free agent. He was atrocious for most of last year. But, like, best ball players are fucking annoying. It gets weird. Yeah, they're going to be like, he's going to f- the positive regression. Yeah. And they'll put him in, like, the top fucking 12. Pollard was bad, but I think people might ride on the back. He's, he might still be the guy there. I don't I just, like, we need to have this as a closed studio next time. <laughs> I can't barely handle you by yourself. So, to add in, add in the peanut gallery over here, and I'm cooked. Generally think this might be it, brother. All right, I'm going to ask you myself. I was drafting right now. I feel super confident Javante and Joe Mixon are sitting inside the, the top 25 for the time being. <clears throat> oh, God, I don't want Eckler or Pollard. One of them's probably the 25. One of them's like the 27, maybe 23, 27. I'll tell you, the guy outside is 30. Jack, you think you know this? People had to be scarred by Pollard. No. Oh, Eckler's got too much name value. She is very gorgeous to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Eckler. Final answer. Is it fucking Javante, Casey? We have we have a poll. The last one I left is a poll, and I'm not confident that you guys have a better read than I do on this. Like I feel like if there's one question I'm not gonna use a lifeline on, it yeah. should probably be a fantasy one. Yeah. yeah. Although started this question, I said I'm calling this might be a game. Mm, so you probably thought I was going Shrecky, huh? There's absolutely no chance unless you looked it up. Casey knows. Quesadilla. How is it? He's a dilla. Oh, I'm, I think I might pivot to Pollard. I think I might done do it to you. I don't know what I want to happen. I mean, you're not meant to get the million dollars, so you answer what you want, brother. Eckler's a free agent, though. He's not going to get a fucking bag. Yeah. Pollard's got that long-term deal locked up, don't he? Pollard's a free agent, too. Isn't he? Wait. Did they tag him last year? Homie jabroni. Maybe Anthony knows. Oh, people are going to talk themselves into Eckler again, huh? I'm talking myself into him right now. A pretty good role with one team. Dump-offs, out the backfield, one last run. Eckler, B, final answer. Don't ask. For $50,000. Fuck. Austin Eckler is your final answer? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is episode one okay. of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That is the ball game. Javante the correct answer is Javante. Ridiculous. He's like literally the guy I feel so the most underrated. confident about on the board. It, that's why Honestly, this question's here. And then know that Dude, no. Right. Javante's RB30, Mixon's 25. Eckler Pollard, above all, both of those. Okay. Yeah, Ridic- Eckler would have been my number one. That's why. Yeah. I don't think Eckler could drop that much. He's RB3. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like all of them, though. You know what I mean? Like, they, everyone's going to make a case for everybody. It's ridiculous. He was good, yeah. And he'll, I mean, he's, now he's going to be two years from the Unless ACL. you're just scared of Sean doing some stupid shit. That's fucking crazy. Which I guess isn't insane. Well, Nick, we were ten questions in. And it just wasn't enough. I'll leave these same next four questions for the next contestant. No one will know until someone makes it that far. Boo. Ladies I and wanna. gentlemen, there will be zero t-shirts handed out. Blame the man, not the millionaire. Thank you for watching. Give us a like. Give us some love. And check us out on Underdog Fantasy. Code BDG. 100% deposit match. Luke is going over. Anything to say? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't Bro, like that. Bitch. I didn't like have fun doing that.
We'll be back next week. Thank you.